in fact, in pretty hard. This is, for a while now, not only now, um, we are paying road tax at the government place in the point we have to pay road tax every year and still we are paying for it in the gas. So it's a fact in this double. And uh, up to this morning, we went in the pump. Normally, it would fill up around, it would charge me around 180. This morning, went to 205. And uh, they say it got, well, it went up from yesterday, I think. They say it's because of the war. The war. But I wonder when they gas coming already since the war. I have nothing coming since the war. That means the charge will be. For, for what we already paying for already? Because I can't remember. I don't think none coming yet. But it's going up. But the minister did say that the price has been climbing since December on the international scene. But all the time it goes up. Nearly every month you hear it going up because every time a new shipment comes, it goes up. No new shipment ain't come yet since the war that I know about. But it's going up now to blame the war. So I shouldn't get on here yet, because we ain't getting we ain't getting a new shipment yet. So I think the on ferry. Well what what the government will do is will, will probably um encourage the business sector to see how they could cut back on the prices that serve to help the um, help the economy. So that's when it really it was out but it will be very difficult to think because warm prices increase, the the um producer or the business people can pass it on most likely to the um to the consumer. But if, if we want to look for the overall development of the country, the, um, those business people will go trade hard enough to mit mitigate their prices so that they not pass it on to the consumers. So that easy situation. But I know how they can get it do, but that's the, only way, that's the only way out. Right? And government will go, government will go try to reduce any taxes to the, um, to the business people. Try to reduce any taxes and tariffs at the, at, the, um, at the ports so that the prices will be able to hurt the consumers. So that, that's what I'm about. Are, are you in the line of driving a lot? Or yes, that will impact me greatly on my, my gasoline because I drive very often. So uh, right now, i got to spend more money on gasoline right now. So I've got to find ways now to cut back my that much driving now. So I've got to probably walk certain places that you have to go to cut back from that. that. Well, it has been affecting me for a while. I know the little increase would with with affect you more. Because I was telling you earlier, we guys, we taxi guys still pay road tax, which in the other guys don't. So, so we end up paying more at the pump still in those, uh, in, in a sense, than those guys, because we still pay road tax. What have you been doing to try to mitigate the impact? But I ain't a try, because I ain't a job that I can't do that else, but I got to put it in. Because I'm a taxi guy, so I got to work. So there ain't, ain't no way to try to mitigate it, to impact it. You got to, I got to work, so I got to put it in. So do, do you see anything that the government could do then to help? Well, it can be done at the national level. Well, they could try the easy taxi, man. Because you know, fears haven't, haven't gone up since 2008 on the island. So. so, And since then, gas have gone up real enough times. So a fear increase would be reasonable? Well, yes. Or even, even uh, taking off the, the other part of the road tax with the guys. Anything like that to help the guys, you know?